Hello there, <laughs> and welcome to episode talking. Oh, no, episode one hundred and thirty-seven of talking, talking Wednesday, 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 Wednesday podcast. It's been a while. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to episode one hundred and thirty-seven of the Talking Wednesday podcast. This is a bit different. For the first time, we're going to do a podcast during a game. So I was going to do it at Dexterity Box. Uh, dexterity watch tonight <laughs> help me <laughs> uh, why why is Masal, uh, why is buckley on the right wing according to sky okay, i don't we'll know i just i've second. just seen that as well and gone that makes about much sense of yeah <laughs> yeah exactly but um welcome to episode 137 it's been a couple of weeks since talking wednesday last aired um sheffield wednesday you're currently playing sunderland so we yep. are uh, this podcast might seem a little bit more pivotal if you're watching on if you're listening on catch up on, on the audio services but it's something that we thought we'd uh we'd give a go because i we was gonna stream anyway to, we could both can't watch this on our own without feeling depressed so we thought we'd do no, it together it's it's been the time hasn't it anyway yeah. jake how has your fortnight been my friend we'll start with the tradition so my first week i decided to do this which wasn't the most smartest idea for audio listeners. I had a seizure at about two in the morning and smacked my head on a set of nesting tables, which have now been completely destroyed and no longer in my house. Uh, and then the whole this week, if you're going on like nesting stuff, my wife is in the nesting period at the moment. Uh, so I'm now painting everything because she decided it's time to paint the front room. And I'm now waiting on DPD to bring my paint that they said they were going to bring today because my house doesn't exist. And I've had issues with Virgin Media trying to get installation. So it's been all fun. How about you, my friend? How are your uh, two uh, weeks been? Uh, same week you, you did a head injury. Um, I had some bits go on. Uh, nothing, well, so some some things like nothing too, too morbid or anything, but some things that just sort of like didn't leave me in a great place. Um, so I mm. wasn't doing too well. But... Uh, then you compound that compound that with um, everything going off, and it was like I actually it was probably a good time. <laughs> Do I say this? Great. Sod it! Uh, it's the best time you could injure yourself through your disability, Jake. Basically, <laughs> because <laughs> it, it it gave me an excuse to sort of um, try and detach. <laughs> from things for a little while. See, I do have my advantages. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, uh, yeah, it was just a case of um, needing to step back and just take some time and, uh, yeah, um, getting getting back to a place where you feel a bit more like yourself. So, yeah, um, all the Wednesday stuff going on is obviously, it oh. seems a bit small fry in the relate, relation to things and as well. And I've got a lot of adult things that are happening at the minute as well. So there's all, there's all sorts of logistics that are that are currently occurring. If there is any flickers in the stream, by the way, whenever it's, um, I have no idea why. It's be probably because um, using a different internet, I'm trying to get set up with certain different things. So that yeah. might be why. But yeah, um, we're, we're moving forward. Um, yes. And there is there is bigger things going on, um, as we can see. Obviously, the Wednesday currently paying respect to Maddie Cusack. That's the, you. You look at things Still in perspective. Still, so very and, shocked um, about that. Yeah, um, um, that came yeah. out of the blue. Um, there's, there's 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 a I know there's a lot of um, fans going through. I, I you shouldn't look at it like this because I think everybody like. Especially when you've you've sort of been mentally struggling a little bit, I think you feel like well, some people have got real, you know, you think oh, yeah. we've got more problems than you have, um, and that doesn't make you feel any better. Um, but it's one of those where uh, I know there's quite a few people in the fan, fan base going through things at the minute, so I, think, I, I, I wouldn't. A 28 minute applause as well for one a lad who's recently just died. Uh, right. If we miss any of that on stream, it's purely because of the way it's it, it's going. But don't. Don't take it as disrespect. Yeah. Obviously, we we send all our um, uh, condolences and the likes. Uh, we're not going to speculate on things that have happened and stuff like that. We yeah. don't have that information in the chat. Um, but yeah, Wednesday are getting ready to kick off here. But as we do that, there's been quite a lot that's been going on in the world of um, Sheffield Wednesday. So obviously, we had the whole Marvin Johnson saga since the last time we yep. spoke. We might as well start there as Wednesday get ready to kick off. I think the Marvin Johnson situation just a bit of a it's kicking the teeth because you've got to feel for the player because he's signed up right I'm going to play and then being told that he's not going to play it sounds like he's training on his own uh, he had an opportunity to go to Derby and for whatever reason it got pulled it's like if he's not going to be in our squad or even in the 20 man squad just let him go play football let him yeah. just have fun what's it going to benefit us in 
just trading on his own. It's not. And you, we hear about club potentially hurting player careers. He's 32. He hasn't. He won't probably have much games left. Like at his age point and the position he played. And I just think it's oh, it's just it winds me up how much we do things in such a backward fashion. Do you want me like it's the way that right? There's a lot of things that are said about a lot of the local journalists that some things deem very much unfair. But do you know what I really have been hating recently? The way Cisco is with Rob from Radio yeah. Sheffield. Or Andy. Like, just like... Anyone from BBC Radio Sheffield. I can't watch those videos because he's so... He, he gets my back up watching the videos. Mm. You know, I'm like, the way he speaks to people. Yeah. Um, and it's just a negative aura all around the club at the minute. And when asked very pertinent questions about why have we given a contract to this player and he's not playing, mm. why do we want to talk about the positives? Well, what bloody positives have we got at the minute, Jake? Um, because he keeps no. talking about that. Oh, let's let's talk. You never focus on the positives. Musaba came and had a great game. Right. Okay, but we've not won a game. Yeah. The the no points. Attacking no the right three here. points. And the th- issue is, until we get that win, that monkey not going to be on our back. And the issue is, there isn't any positive. And the problem is, if you watch the press conference, they start in this kind of weird way. It's a bit like the press conference with uh, when he got announced. Because of the way the press has like, deemed and started it, it starts that whole kind of thing of going, what's the point in like doing this? Because it sets the narrative, it sets the mood. Then it goes on yeah. to the next load of questions where he's already in a move with one. Oh, Sunderland's got a free kick here and that's a really bad play by Vaquez. Put us in trouble again. Yeah, oh. that's that's that that is, that to go through. And I think you're a few seconds in front of me, so I, I, don't, I don't matter. But like, it means I can probably give you the uh, the 10 seconds behind uh, yeah. <laughs> run, really. But so they got a free kick just outside the box, which is a good place, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's ideal, actually, just uh, in front of the uh, circle, in it, semicircle. Fair play to anyone who's gone tonight as well with everything that's going on. I know a lot of people won't have gone with everything that's going on. Yeah, kind of thing. And well, I don't be interesting. To see, it'll be interesting to see if the protests kick off. Mm, yeah. Um, the green. And you know, the do, you, do you know this is? I know it's because we've rebranded tonight as well, maybe, and I've not been. The algorithm is not helping, but I've never seen those have this few viewers. I've never had this few viewers on a watch along, so it shows how much the the this Wednesday engaged. thing is happening at the minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I think it's very difficult at the minute. Like like he, when he says about positives, it's like, are you seeing the positives in training? Because I don't Freaking see any in game. Uh, it's no, important. it's um. So yeah, well yeah, it bounced off wall, didn't it? Um, yeah. But it's uh, I I don't think he. I think he needs to go, Jake. Oh, 1 0 Sunderland. Four minutes in, the goal. From a corner. What great back, timing is that, back, eh? Back where just flaps at it. Oh, it's going to be a long night. So, yeah, I'll watch this again. The uh, pre- It's a nice little right. That yeah, is a that is, that's crap pathetic. defending. That's crap, yep. Yeah. Gets a hand Hard to it. Is wearing, but that is naff. <sighs> there's nothing there's nothing in that how are we conceding from set pieces so easily when we have so many big players at the back I don't <laughs> understand this make it make sense we're, we're marking oh, we are literally gosh. marking areas not people areas and he's a free man Bambo Diabo just lets him run past him like he's nothing what are you Bambo player. Bambo, the invisible man. Oh, four minutes. It took four minutes for them to breach our defense. That's yeah, that's what there's so many Wednesday players around him there as well. Do you know yes. that I've got this I've got this horrible smile on my face because you just don't expect you don't expect any different at the minute. No, you don't. And it's like that is such a poor thought. Oh what right. God. Like, uh, as it was coming, we weren't getting anything out of this tonight anyway, let's be no. honest. The, the manager's not got a clue. No. We, when do we, I call for managers, Jake? We have never called for managers' head between the pair of us. 
And it's the fact that we had the same person on Twitter both di- like reply to our tweet saying, going, for you two to call it, it must be really bad. The problem mm. is, if you look at tonight's state, today's statement, right? How does he actually allow him to like sack him if he's saying everything right. he said today? I tell you what, let's do the because uh, this is obviously a podcast as well. Let's let's yeah, do that topic. So I'll I'll just get the statement up one second. But that is such but a poor. When's he trying to make an attack happen down the left here? Oh, and obviously it's defended well. So, Jake, <sighs> this morning. Um, I woke up, as I'm sure many Wednesday fans did. I was on the goal run when it happened. Yeah, I was... Uh, I'd actually just nip back, actually. I'd just nip back for the morning. And yeah. um, I see club statement and I go, okay. Is he ta- Is this the one where he says he's going to back the manager? Is this the one where he says that... Ooh, so close. We need oh, all no, the fans no. to support us here sort of no, thing. No. Yeah. But um, this is what the Wednesday Rebs website read around half eight this morning. A statement from Dejfon Chansiri. Hello to all Sheffield Wednesday fans. I have thought about making this statement for some time and it is extremely difficult for me to do and something that never th- I thought would I have to do. But in the end, I think it is time to say some things that I feel I have to say before it is too late. First of all, I would like to thank all the fans who have supported the club so well over the past nine years since I have come to Sheffield Wednesday. There has been joy and sorrow. The joy we have shared together in times of sorrow, we have supported each other. Right now, we are not in a good situation in the table, and I believe the supporters have every right oh, to Oh, for God's opinions. sake, it too! I'm just going to carry on reading this statement. Yeah, to carry on, uh, but it's 2-0 outside the box. Doesn't matter. Jack Clark. This doesn't matter, because this statement sums it all up, isn't it? We're just, we're, yeah. we're, not, we're getting relegated, mate. Um, yeah every right to voice opinions speak from the heart and say anything you wish about the football that is the nature of the game which i always respect but i always believe there are limits to balance for the benefits of the club and all other stakeholders as a whole fans can complain criticize give strong opinions balanced balanced opinions say anything you like but no one has the right to cross the line all the rights try and cause any damage throw insults or go into my family which has happened again which i cannot accept Right now, this is too much. I have always welcomed constructive debate and thought, which is fine, but to tell people who have contacted me directly in insults uh, and to my family, I can tell you that I will never accept this. You know, if you get up to that point, you go, okay, he's he's basically not standing for the abuse. He's yeah. trying to sort of double down on that. It's unacceptable to come for his family. Um, yeah, that's a decent goal from outside of the box, but we're just poor again, aren't we? Uh, and then it carries on and you go, right, okay, it's quite long. So he goes, the club have found ways to ex- improve things and make uh, and develop as much as we can in all areas. However, it is not possible for the club to do this alone. For example, some fans have said the ticket price is too high. I have explained this many times in forums. For example, the prices can be lower if we had enough guaranteed volume and that's a win-win situation for the club and for the fans. It is the same for the price of the shirts, exactly the same principle. The price can be lower if the sale volume is higher. We must look for solutions. It is no use thinking of just one side. We must think and help each other. I lose a lot of money each year and we must try and balance as much as we can. We've launched the community engagement scheme for any fans who struggle to attend games and a number of supporters have taken advantage of this scheme. Unfortunately for some who have historically not attended games, they have used the pricing structures to attack the club without the intention to attend themselves, even when prices have been lower. That's also a cheap dig because you have you're digging out the fact that as soon as you came in, you raised prices, Chancery. So let's not, right? I've actually been pretty... We've been really fast, Chancery, but... Yeah, we've never If really he's going to start... We'll, let, we'll I start think back. The, yeah, even the level-headed podcast, I think probably we're the probably... I don't know. I, I don't really know too much about the others, but I can imagine. I think a lot of them have, have all have had the same a dig. Way, but they've had a dig and they've had enough now. Because yeah. at the end of the so, day, you... You you say you've had this idea and told us what to think, but you haven't showed us what the plan is. You've given this answer to why they're so high, but not given us a proper answer. We're currently losing 2 0 in, in 10 minutes, by the way. So you want us to, and this is 44 quid tonight. Yeah. So that's for the and student you said, prices. You said that the ticket prices would reflect on the performance and where we are in the league. You said that. And if you turn around and say that's not what I said, we got that in the fan forum stuff. I'll carry on with the club statement. Yeah, carry on. Uh, Because it gets worse. Some fans say I'm the custodian, not the owner. 
who say they were born here and will die here. I may not have been born here and I probably will not die here. But one thing I can say is that I will always try and do my best for Wednesday. Even though I have been involved for less than 10 years, that does not make my love for the club any higher or lower than anyone else. I kind of agree with that. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. You can you can fall in love with the club, but it yeah. doesn't, you, you know, there, there is lifelong fans there that you, we kind of ha- have that. That's one thing we do have. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, to those who are trying to create trouble damage in the club, I ask, what have you done that is good for your club? Why are you trying to harm it? If I am such a bad owner, what are you doing on your side? We all love Sheffield Wednesday and I am a supporter as well as the owner who must love and care for the club more than anyone else. Can I, can I, can I just have us a bit on that bit where he said, what are we doing for the club? We're coming in every week. Week in, yeah. week out, we're paying the ticket prices. We're playing the season ticket prices. We're paying for the shirts that you keep putting up. Mm. The thing is, you're saying, "Oh, what can we do better?" I understand. You're like, for owner. example, we're we're sat covering all this mess because we love the club that much and we love talking yeah. to people about the club that much. <sighs> um, and and trust me, this 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 ain't a financially valuable thing. <laughs> no. Um, if I um. Yeah, so he, he said that, and then he said, um, we all love Sheffield Wednesday, and I am a supporter as well as the owner, and I must love and care for the club more than anyone else because of the position I am and as chairman. I must take responsibility for everything at the club, including financial support, which is Bands something I always out, do. Mate. They should do as well. You can, you can see them. They're all going. They're a lot just leaving. They should do as well. Yeah. I'm, I, I respect it. Oh, there's no way I was going tonight. We always have this plan, but, you know. Carry on. It's just you know must... what you know Go what on. hurts the, the most is that every time there's a statement, it's never his fault. It's never his fault. It's always our fault. It's always all the fans that have done something wrong. And and I'll say now, anyone that's and I said it on my statement, if you send him emails or send him messages that are about his race, his family, or anything like that. That is bang out of order. They have got nothing to do with how he run the club or his family. Yeah, you, you you shouldn't be contacting his family as well. So, so clearly, he's probably seen some things on that. But like, he I, he always goes to that, and it's yeah. not something that's public, right? And I I think there's probably a lot of people who have that. It's just it's it's not excusable. But I but I reckon there's quite a lot of that in general. But a lot of people don't address it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Because yeah. it just gives them the airtime. Um, and this is where the statement really takes a twist. But from now on, I will not put additional money into the club. If you say you are the owner and I am the custodian, then show me how to be a good owner and help save your club. You want me to leave you, but you want to spend money? If you want me to leave, then show me how to run the club and invest money before I do that. You have no right to ask me to leave. I am the one who saved the club and spent money for the club. I am the one who needs to pay around $2 million on average every month. Some fans need to have more respect for the owners of clubs and not be so selfish, thinking of their own benefit without doing anything good to the club. This is not acceptable, and as a result, and as a result, I am not willing to inject any more money while I am being treated unfairly by those fans. Right. Get in the bin. Because yep. that is the pettiest thing I have ever yep. seen from a Sheffield Wednesday owner. Yeah. Um, and I can't believe right that we know we know certain voices get back to certain people. I know certain people will be hearing this, and I know all along we've tried to be quite level headed, but this needs an apology. You can't speak to fans like that. You can't then threaten the club because some fans because some fans have turned you on you in you a way because what you're doing there because the because of the. Some have had a go at you, then putting it everybody else into it. We he can't says, control. He says else. those fans, right? But he is now threatening an entire fan base. Yeah. So what about the people who have been level headed, or the people that have supported him, right? Or just the general fan base? Because what you're doing there is you're threatening to let our club get in trouble, and you're basically throwing your toys out the pram and go, "Well, if I can't have it my way, I'm going to basically destroy my, this." Historic my my club. thing is, what what are that kind of not put any more money in, does he mean? Does he mean he's not going to put any more money into transfers? Is he still going to pay players and staff? Or what? Because it's so vague. It's so yeah. vague with how he said it. And it's like, he needs to clarify like, that because he says additional money. What additional money? Right. If you're such a good businessman and you're managing it well, right. Okay. That's going to stir some feathers, actually. Um, but like, <laughs> if you are like, if you are managing it so well, why are we losing two million a month in additional money? What is that? 
where are all these sponsorships that you said we've had lined up? Like, we've just done, like, a men's sponsorship this week, but it's like, that's not enough. And the thing is, the other thing that people have got to remember, this bloke also had the chair, had the stadium under his control. Exactly. And the problem I, I, is, I'm just thinking... have a look what happened to Gunthorpe this week. Gunny, this week, their owners got attacked on a fan forum site. The fan forum owner took it down, but he got his season ticket back taken off him and banned from the club. They now cannot play at their stadium. They have to go 16 miles because the owners refused to A, let them in, and B, he pulled all the money. He won't fund it anymore. I just... I, do you know what gets me about this, Jake, is I've tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. For yeah, like, I, think, I think we both have. I, I've always said... He always seems to have his heart in the right place. Yeah. And this statement today has made me just think like he's not getting anything anymore. It, 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 I can't see a way back. No, there isn't a way back. There isn't. The thing is that um, BBC Radio Sheffield earlier tonight, they said that there have been people who have got in touch with Sheffield when they're interested parties. I, re- I hear that and I go, until I see it, I don't believe it. Until there's something there. If, if, say, the Adam Shaw person who wanted to come in and get us, time to put your money where your mouth is. Because I think later on in the statement, I think you'll get to it. It says something about, like, offering... Listen, yeah, let's, offers, let's, finish the, let's finish the statement then. So he goes... Um... The club needs support from everyone during difficult times. In football, there are good times and not so good times. It is easy to celebrate the good times, but we must support each other in the difficult times. P.S. We'd still be in a good time if you hadn't sacked the manager, and now he's at Huddersfield Town, and um, yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's great for us, isn't it? Well done. Um, and he did say he was sacked as well, so yeah. I, we can say that now. Yeah. I think at the moment it's too much with some people crossing the line. For example, as the club have made many statements about the conduct of supporters and those who have break broken regulations could lead us to receiving fines from the FA. Some clubs have been fined up to a hundred thousand pounds for breaking regulations. And of course that is something we do not wish to see at Sheffield Wednesday coming onto the pitch at the end of the game against Peterborough, throwing objects onto the pitch against Middlesbrough. These situations can cost clubs a lot of money, which is again, my responsibility. Okay. So you're moaning about a pitch invasion as well there. <laughs> right. right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now. It's your responsibility at the business owner. You are yes. the business owner, and this is the thing that come with owning this a football, football club. This is football. You've got what into happens. a football club, right? If you didn't know that this is the things that come with football clubs, then that is not due, dil- due diligence on your part before your purchasing decision. You can talk. You can talk about loving the club, but you clearly don't have that love for the overall sport because they are just things that happen in football, right? This isn't a normal business. I hate it when owners in football come in and they try and talk as it. As if it's like, oh, the Normal. business perspective. Yeah, it's not. Got yeah. Sutherland well, again. Told, told, yeah. told, told me what happens in a normal business where your junior clerk can get transferred to the management team as another company in January. He can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's not a normal situation. They are not normal businesses to run because they don't operate like a normal business. You have to think about who can come in. Like you could quite easily get Wednesday tickets to people for about 25 quid and fill it and probably be able to make a profit. What are your overheads if we're spending 2 million a month? Do you want me to tell you, you know, if it's, if tickets were like 20, 25, oh, 28 we quid. We actually had a chance. That all. Uh, good champ on John Buckley. Outside shot, keeper saved it, parried it to a, uh, a corner. corner. Yeah. Um, if you actually, if tickets were reasonable, I can 100% tell you that that ground would be a lot fuller. Even if the team was struggling, we'd be there. Yeah. We'd be getting behind it. We'd be saying, look, he's not. Because the thing is, what he's done is put himself into a corner, right? If you don't want to back the results on the t- uh, on the on the pitch, you know, if you can't like, oh, if, things have got, if, if your manager decisions are being sort of questioned and things like that, if you've at yeah. least not alienated the fans with stupid ticket pricing, we'll be there. You know, stupid comments. It's, you would have more of the fans on your side. Yeah, it was a decent corner routine. That actually. it wasn't a bad shot either. It was just a little bit high. The thing yeah. is, what what gets... Sab is a good player to be fair. He, like, he's really good. The thing is, yeah. you look at the reaction as well to these two goals. The players know everything's not right, and the problem is, if the players don't think everything's right, it screws it. And oh, I had a I had a theory of well. 
deck that you'll like this one. Whenever me and you like an away shirt, it's never good at the club. I was we, thinking this we, the we other liked day. That, we liked that black one, got relegated. Like the pink one, missed out on relegation. Promotion. Not a fan yeah. of the yellow one. We went up. Oh, we don't a big fan. We love this one. Uh, the away one, and look at it now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it's just like... Well, yeah, right, let's finish this statement because it's, yeah. guess a lot, it's long and it's waffly. Um, regarding protests, I do not believe this can help our club. <laughs> uh, the people who are trying to organise these protests are not prepared to identify themselves. While they are happy to encourage other fans to show themselves, how can this help? I actually do understand what he's saying there mm. because it is like trying to like get public support. I'm not trying yeah. to slate what they're doing there, by the way, because I understand that everyone's got their right to protest. But, like... It's, it's very a, difficult. There's, there's if, if, I, it, if fans are at the stadium risking their sort of like necks for yeah. it, and they're they're not anonymous, there is that side of it, you know. Yeah. Um, perhaps these are a waste of time. I would like these fans to show me how much you love your club. Do not damage it. I do not want to fight with anyone, but use your words. Enough is enough. Please do not damage our own club. Otherwise, these fans need to take all responsibilities and liabilities. Oh, by the way, because obviously, I do actually. I actually, have, I'm a fan who says there is something behind War War All Wednesday, aren't we? So I'm not yeah, digging same. out people trying to organise um, protests and things like that. Do you know what? I understand. I understand the meanings I get it. behind it, and I that's get, not what I, I, get I was the digging out. The thing is, I get the protests, but. They don't mean anything if the bloke doesn't care about the protests, kind of thing. Mm. And you look at like, and Birmingham, it took them twelve years to get new stuff. It switched. It took them five five years roughly, where it all started to go a bit better. But it went a bit bad before that. You look at certain clubs who have done like bad ownerships and protests. It takes a long time. Look at one of the biggest clubs in the world, Manchester United. Mm. Clubs. Fans want them gone, like universally want them gone, but not going to go anywhere. Yeah, to be honest, I don't, I, I, don't I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for them because they've spent like a bit. I know it's not about money and stuff like that, but like it's like it's bloody Manchester United. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? but and the yes, fans they are. They are. They are bleeding one of the most richest companies. It, cut, but cut, the fans um, haven't clubs in the world. The fans the haven't spent that money. The fans haven't pulled out eleven million like they have every year. They've put more money in. But what mm. I'm saying is, protests rarely work to a point. They can work, but the issue is, when protests go badly, it's when everything you start to see all the comments in. Look at the one we did when we last was on Sky with the tennis balls. It was a flop. <laughs> yeah, well, there's, good, there's meant to be one today, so we'll see how that goes. But right, let's finish this bloody statement because it's so <laughs> yeah. long. Um, I know there are people who wish for me to leave. I personally have never said a single word on my valuation of Sheffield Wednesday or how much I'd be went, want to sell Sheffield Wednesday for because I've never considered selling. It is easy. Someone come forward and if I am satisfied, the club will be better prosper. Then we can talk. Some fans say there are many wanting to buy football clubs, but it's not just about money. It's about the right person and organisation who take good care of the club. Right, the one thing I'm going to say, Chancery, right? Do not let us. These are the, these are my two requests. If he's going to go full sort of like lockdown crazy mode, right? Do not let the club fall into admin. Do not yeah. put us in more debt. Do not sell the club to somebody that is just oh. going to rinse it for its assets. However, it is probably time to go. I don't think you can save face from this one. If I'm absolutely honest, did you um, can't say not put us in more debt. And it's, because, yeah, yeah, because he's, he's he looks like he's taking, he's like, it looks like, yeah, he's taking charges against the stadium again, isn't yeah. he? So, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, don't put your valuation up higher. <laughs> and that's what you're going to do if you take out more stuff against your money. Um, there was a speculation recently from an interested party but, it, party, but it was said, I refuse to talk about the sale of the club. This is not correct. It's simple. If you want to buy it, the club, show me the proof of funds or submit an offer in the professional way. I met this person as a sponsor and I did not know who was representing, but the same applies. Show me the proof of funds and submit an offer. Neither of these two things happened. And as a sponsor, his business was yet to pay the full amount for the sponsorship. So how could I sell the club like that anyway? That is relating to Shaw by the looks of it. That is. Um, so yeah, I don't think anything is going to happen there, to be fair. Um, I think but it's... It, the it, problem it, is how much... I don't know it, if he's got the money to buy it. Yeah, but the thing is, how much do... And I gotta say, if we're pinched off, how much do you believe Chancery in that statement? Um, I don't. I haven't seen anything to say that that I wouldn't actually believe him in that. I don't think he's probably got the money that Chancery. No, would no, want no, no. I meant club. from Chancery. Oh, what? With what, what Chancery said, uh, saying about saying he's not had anyone talk to him about 
like the sale or something or well, anything I, like that. Just, <laughs> again, the, the problem, trying, the trying to turn is, around your words like, yes, I, I'm not fully believing that, but yeah. It, it cap 22 because until someone puts up or shuts up, kind of puts up the money, then shut up. The problem is I've heard in the past there have been a couple of people who've tried to buy the club and Chancery mm. hasn't picked the phone up. Just doesn't want to pick the phone because he doesn't want to sell. The problem is he's in a position now where, oh, that came out weird. He needs to look at what's going on, not just for the club as well, but for his own mental health and his own stuff and his family name. If he's such a big person who's very relied on Thai culture and the family name, the big thing, your name is plastered all over the club. What did he family. buy it for? 30? 38 million, 40 million. Genuinely, I reckon he should try and flog it for 65 and just get it gone. I know he yeah, won't. Yeah, but what about but he should. Um, That's the difficult one. Mate, if you actually put it together, if you put the debt kind of thing that he got in the stadium, it's 70 million for the club. And it's about 60 million for the stadium if you did an all in sale. Well, he's going to have to take a loss. This is what oh, I'm yeah. saying. There's no way. Like, you've done it to it. You, you, it's not oh, worked in theory. Oh, lucky. Great ball in there. Greg, you just can't get your toe on the end of it. I don't think we're going to celebrate a goal very highly, though, to be honest, Jake. Um, it might be the only thing I get to celebrate this week. <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm watching it now. God, I am like a good 30 seconds behind you. Um, if anyone wants to buy the club, they should act professionally and follow the correct process. All the information is published in the accounts every year. There is nothing to hide. When I bought Sheffield Wednesday, would Milan have sold it to me if he was not satisfied with my offer? All I have ever wanted is the best for Sheffield Wednesday. And if anyone wishes to invest and come and do a better job, then we can talk. Until that happens, I will continue to try my best and focus on trying to help us move up the championship table. Before we finish this statement and read the last right. paragraph, can I just say, just bring in a bloody CEO. And just get okay, out. If you want to own the club, just get out of everything. Just don't deal with it. You have to be involved. Do you know what? Just put the money be in the and person have that someone wants to do the money it. in and do something else. And yeah. then if you're not happy with their results, you sack them. That's your power. That's your control. You've you wanted to micromanage too much. That is the that, it's not worked. If you want to be the owner of this club, it's probably too late still, but it's the only thing you could have done. Yeah, 28 minutes is the round of applause for the fan that lost their life um, recently. So that's happening now. The thing is, with what he says, is, look what he said, where the thing that got counterproductive and it contradicts what he just said. Help the champ help us move up the championship table. Now read the last paragraph and the first line. As I mentioned, I will not inject any more money into the club if I'm being treated unfairly. Those fans who create trouble to the club and myself believe they are the real owner of the club need to be responsible for the financial matters of the club from now on. If they can take such financial responsibility to save the club and they believe that I am not the right owner, they may propose any buyer who I believe can operate the club for the benefit of all stakeholders going forward. What stakeholders? There's only you. It's also one. It's just an unacceptable thing to say to fans of a football club. I'm sorry. But you know, but you know what I mean. That but that bit say I want to help us move up the championship table, but then t at the same time, turn around and go, I will not. The thing is, look at what's happened at Reading. Reading has just had a put out of state. Look at what's happened at Gunny Bury. Oh, penalty to Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kind of be three 0 by half time, maybe four. I hadn't even seen this. The tweet came up beforehand. How bad is this? Oh, that bad Bambo! I'm just going to watch because I'm even behind you. It's still in there off at the minute. Hang oh, on. Bambo, what are you doing? Oh, I hate football. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate football. Uh, it's... Were you taking lessons off bloody Paul during the training this week. Jesus. Yeah, you were. Goal. 3-0. <laughs> we might as well just send a message to Sunderland and go and we forfeit. 3-0 win. Done. 
I don't think that's a penalty. It doesn't matter, does it? No. The problem. Is, oh no, he does. He grabs his shit. He does, on that he angle, I can shot. see. He grabs yeah. his shirt slightly. Uh, the pro- the problem he, is, yeah, he does. It's penalty. For God's sake. I've just seen a bit. Like it's gone in money. It's like how. The thing is, he's, he's does... not though. Because the thing is, the only managers that could get us out of this, Chan Siri won't work well, with. They? And they won't work with Chan Siri. No. Why would they? The the only person I can realistically think he would bring in, and he'll do it to save faith, is Carlos. That's the that's the best situation right now. Yeah. That is the best situation. We are literally gonna have it. By I say 60th minute, it's just gonna be full of Sunderland fans in the away end. There'll be a couple that day. There'll be a odd. I don't understand how we it, everything at the moment from behind the scenes to what's going on on the pitch just says it all. And yeah, where we, is, we were in, we were in the playoff semi final against these two years ago, and beating three 0 in the championship. Months ago, as well. No, no, I mean, no, but no, yeah, but, but he, we were against these, and they're, yeah. they're a different beast. And that's how a club develops. Great chance. We've no. we've taken all of our momentum from Wembley and just chucked it in the toilet. Chan Siri can't admit he got it wrong with more. No, no, he can't admit that he's at fault. When has he ever admitted it's his fault? This is a hundred percent his fault with the Moore situation, right? And I'm not—I wasn't a massive fan of Darren Moore asking for more money. But looking at all the things now and the way the facts are laid out, if I was in Chan Siri's position, I wouldn't have given him the longer contract. No, but I'd, I'd have given the—I'd I'd have given the more money, and I'd have probably put some options in there. Do you know what I mean? Like, because we've—we've. We've, it's just this manager's clueless. How? Man. How do you sell? And also, how do you sell this club to a potential manager at the moment? And how the hell do you sell this club to a potential owner? Because new owners, if he's the one saying, well, they're like this, this, and this to me. You know what I mean? Bring in Warnock till the end of the season. Oh, he, he, just, he just wanted to get relegated. He won't, though. Nah, he wouldn't want a relegation on his This CV, is the thing, he? like, genuinely, genuinely, we couldn't do much worse because we're already going down, mate. Fans and... are leaving in the drones. They should. Yeah. I'm half tempted to walk <laughs> downstairs and go and play FIFA. Uh, the, the thing is... I'm very tempted with that as well, just to say it oh, time because <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Neil Warnock. <laughs> yeah, come on then. Let's 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 hypothetical it because it's it's got to this stage, Jake. Would you take him right now? You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I would. Do you do you want me to say? You know, people go back to that that um, statement when he was sort of like playing it up about how he'd love to like retire and relegate mm. us and stuff like that. We're already going down, mate. So it's one of those things where actually I think he would see it as a professional thing. He obviously has a lot of ties to Sheffield. His relationship with our fans has sort of become a lot more jovial over time. I think he'd see it as a challenge. And I don't, I think he's got more respect for us than that now. Genuinely. Yeah. If I'm being honest. And I actually think you need a, a, a manager that gets in and gets these players and just. Jesus. And just because contra- these these players aren't that. Why bad. am I even bothering? I don't care I, yeah, anymore. Yeah, I stopped, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still talk about <laughs> moments in the game, but like it's a case of yeah. Again, that well, they just had an ball in the box. To be fair, um, yeah. But they they managed to get a corner from an an ball by the looks of it. So that's impressive. Well done. Um, oh no, oh, fine. We actually got it away. Woo! Yay! <laughs> GNX says the club don't deserve fans like you too. <laughs> We're just here for life, I'm afraid, mate. It's one of those yeah, things. Um, like... Warnock would genuinely be... Obviously, I, I just genuinely think he'd be the right man-manager in this situation because these players aren't this bad. Yeah. They aren't. Like, 
as Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fluffybag says, just let us lads manage the club. We honestly couldn't do worse. As a collective, like, I don't think much could at the minute. No. It's... I've even allowed Jack to take training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where is old Jackie boy? Is he at work? I think it, no, I think he's on a night out. Ah, oh. I was thinking we could bring him on for the second half to rant with us. It might be even better if he's in a club somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just, I'm just like, Cisco's just that sat there. I just, I really don't like him. He winds me up too much. <laughs> but, aha. Right, they always say owners, managers always reflect what their owners like. Is that not the case in point here? Mm. I just, I went from Darren Moore just being this sort of like comforting, reassuring manager. Can I just say as well, anybody that was having to go at Moore all the way yeah. through, look at us now. There's a reason yeah. we said stability is all right. And yeah. I, I wasn't always overly impressed with his attacking style. I used to think he, he played a bit. I didn't I didn't fully Play like the, the way he attacked. Go yeah. forward. Yeah. Yeah. But... You've got the new FIFA. You set up a counter-attack, and sometimes we didn't have the counter-attacking players. Yeah. The problem is, we Tom's don't have... Laugh. He's just checked on the game, and, and his break is the biggest regret of his life. <laughs> <sighs> the problem is, right now, if, say, if, say, say, he did let sick go go, which probably the right thing to do. I don't trust him to bring in someone right, right now, right. But if you let him go, we only have the under twenty one coach, and that's it. Mm. And the but, problem is, the reason I want to talk about Warnock is because would Warnock be that sort of like if you're going after that? If you've just had Darren Moore, he's the only manager I can think of per Steve Bruce. And I, mm. uh, do you know what? Do you know when it's getting really bad? When I Did basically, you say Steve I, Bruce? I, uh, when yeah. I literally built like half of my audience originally off the Steve Bruce content. Um, yeah. Genuinely, like the fact that he could even come back. It's that bad where I'm like, you need somebody who just gets the players and knows and can man manage and can you know sort what? of put an arm around them and they like. Is that nine game five penalties? I don't know, mate. I've just kind of care. lost count. I've been watching going, <laughs> God's sake. It's what What's so irritating about this is that it's really bad that us and opposition fans can see what the problems are on the pitch. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'll say this as well. Why are we playing one up top? When well, you've got Smith and Greg... Ooh, oh, she saved it. Thank God for that. Uh, say, no, with Smith and um, Gregory, who can play up top together. Granted, we like, don't have window look at just the way they get through there. You know where they just took that shot from outside the box, right? Oh, they can go for our defense like butter. Uh, the score is 3 0, mate. Tis uh, Sunderland, 39 minute played. I'm just like. 2 0 down after seven minutes, says it all. Like, yep, I agree, Mike. Where. The problem is, I oh come on! You know what? The only person right now who's on that pitch who I actually think will really give a damn about. Well, they all will give a damn, but it Patterson, it buyers, the ones who were in that squad last season, mm. who have seen what this club can do when everything goes right. Oh, oh! By the way, the, the I think the players have been professional, but I think the players are fuming. Oh yeah, I think they are. I think they are. They well, feel like I feel like they're <sighs> under. A, a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah, but I also I feel like they, they don't have any faith in the manager. Mm. Because why should they? Um, can, you imagine if like he brought back, can you imagine if he brought back Gary Monk? He got us third in the in, yeah. in, for half a season. And I don't think he does I don't think we'd have gone down with him. I think even Andy would probably turn around now and go. I will say this though. Back. You know what was really annoying about the weekend, even when we lost at the weekend, reading that Jordan Rogue got a hat trick for Blackpool. Mm. And it's like, Jesus. You know what the you know what the really annoying thing as well with this 
season now, every time Huddersfield playing, they get results. Look, it could be, oh, look what we could have been doing. Look what we could have been doing. I've, I, as I said, I've got family in uh, Huddersfield fans, and I got a message today going, what are your club doing? And I went, uh, I'll tell you what, we're making clown-like decisions, which has been we're for your benefit. So, we don't have so, a you, club. so you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Enjoy Darren Moore. You look at their press conference, it was well done. You had the CEO, you had someone else next to him, and they had a vision. They give him a free year to get what he wants. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, what, the, the one thing we've had, the only plan since Chancery come in is Premier League in the first two years. That was the first bit of plan. After that, he didn't really have any more plans. Well, the whole thing with this was meant to be... Um... Well, this is the reason he talked about. He talked about disagreeing with Darren Moore about being able to get to go for a playoff push. And then you look at us now. We're three 0 down. We're rock bottom of the table. We've got two points. We've not got a win. And Darren Moore was basically saying it wasn't that realistic because there wasn't that support, and it was going yeah. to take more. Hmm. It's almost as if he had his head screwed on straight, and he wasn't just saying things could happen. Here's the thing. You know the quad that he's put out now? Mm. You've put James in that quad right now. Yeah. You've put a, a, a Whitway and I author in that quad right now. You've probably put Dawson in. You've probably put Volks in. And you've definitely put Smith in. Yeah. <sighs> we started... We knew this season was going to be an absolute S show. Right? Yeah. The, after that Darren Moore thing, and then we got to the point where we got to pre-season with 17 players. I'm just so demoralised, mate. Yeah. It just, what's going on, mate? Is Sheffield went there up shit creek? Completely. Um, I won't make any money on this anymore. I don't care. <laughs> um... You can't keep your pie mouth shut, but I knew I want to. I want to do it, and if 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 I actually didn't mind swearing as much as I used to on the internet, I would. I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, and it just uh, all the goals they scored are defensive frailties. If we're going on the game today, right, mm. right now, but all the goals we conceded this season are defensive frailties. It's like. It's like, you know, Darren Moore knew how to set a defence up a little bit. And Not I don't this wa- season. I don't want to... I don't want to have the situation where... Is there any chance we can do one of those announcements at our time saying anyone got the coaching degree if we need a new person in the thing like they do for linemen? <laughs> you know, I'm do you know, do you know what needs to them. happen? He needs to go. He needs to walk after this. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Like he he needs to walk. Chancery needs to he's not gonna walk because he'll want to get sacked and paid off. Yep. I'd take anyone at this rate, mate. Uh... <laughs> I like that from Lee. <laughs> I wouldn't take Lee Bullen in this shit show now. I would not touch Lee Bullen in this. No way. Don't let that man ruin his legacy by trying to come in and fix it on no, the chance. Yeah, exactly. Theory. Yeah, no, he's doing all right as well. So yeah, leave him, leave him, um, leave him where he get him, let him get better. Yeah, speaking of Lee mentioned, obviously the career, the the career mode is buggy as at the minute. So I'm oh, not yeah, touching it. it really minute, that's why it's like I don't want to start saving it be broken by the time we try and make more episodes on it. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just annoying that they don't put any effort into the game like. Wednesday don't put any um yeah effort into their decisions or anything to do with the fans or you know anything that you know, keeps us you know all what? sane. You know what the thing is as well, where he's gone, I'll have conversations with fans and stuff, but you don't have conversations, you yell at us that mm. we're not doing enough. You yell at us and saying why this is and if someone does put something that's quite a con oh god, it's a corner for Sunderland. There we go. Oh, there we go. Also, can I just say Right, this is going to sound, maybe it sounds, but no, we don't, not like, not all of us have a, a, lo, a lot of money. No. Chancery. Um, you keep putting our prices like we're down in Chelsea. Yes. 
money money is the whole thing that like yes it's quite expensive to follow your team now but um he's thinking in the minds of somebody who's always out because if he's if his family's rich he's always had that mindset of his family have had money so he's not thought about it much has he and then he's obviously so it's one of those things that you do get that and that is a disconnect a disconnect of not knowing what money is like to the people who haven't got much because you've always had a comfort blanket the problem is is that if you have a situation that we currently have right now where if you put any kind of criticism and it's seen as a defensive re- defense of going, you don't know what I'm doing and how I'm doing, we'll never be able to get out of this situation. No. Do you know what I was thinking this morning, Jake? I was like, I, we, I always just say that like, oh, you know what? Like using my media stuff and all that sort of stuff. I do content for the club and oh, mm. it'd be nice to like maybe work for the work for I them in some capacity it. someday. But like, and then I look at the things like today and can you imagine being on that admin team and can you imagine being in those teams and just being the like... The amount of people. I, it'd be the worst nightmare you, to have you'd to be, you, You'd be wanting to... Off, to say, say imagine if you're the manager of that media team. You'd be wanting to find out if there's anyone that could give them therapy. Oh God therapy in like to help them out to make sure they're okay Mm -hmm. look at the north stand it oh we are so broken and the problem is i've seen so many people today say just put us in admin admin could be the worst thing that ever happened to us because you can't guarantee that's only going to come in and save you He done exactly what the Derby owner did to Derby. He picked up the handbook and done it step by step. I just uh, like I don't even do the second half. I, I, I I'm genuinely tempted not to, but I feel like we're all in this together now. Yeah. If anyone's got some cool ideas of things we could do in the second half of this to make it a bit more fun. Please let us know. No, yeah, because this is just depressing. I don't. I know. wasn't expecting much from this at all, but like after all the stuff today, just to to capitulate this, it could be Half eight time three nil. They might not even. Yeah, but it could be two ways. They're either going to get told we're cruising at three nil, do what you want, or they're going to say go for broke, get as many as possible, let's get our goal difference up. But apart from that, I don't see anything in this. Can I just say, look at how much of a worse team we are without Barry Bannon as well. Yeah. I can't afford <sighs> to do a drinking game. I've got to get a little girl to dancing tomorrow. Yeah. I'm even on alcohol-free wine, mate. So if I could, I would. We could do we could do it with we could do it with soft drinks. Um yeah. it's like a lovely apple-y thing. Really nice. that I still I still drink in a wine glass because it makes me feel like I'm drinking wine. <laughs> But there we go. Um, I'm going to loop something in the half time because I don't really know yeah. how to do the half time in this, but I need a break. I think you guys hey, need a break. Yeah. So go get a drink. We'll see you in a little while. I've just put Jay right back into the thick of it because. Um... Hello. <sighs> I, do you, do you 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 talk for a couple of minutes, Jake, because I wasn't quite done. You yeah, 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 no worries. The yeah, the misery just it's just a pain in the backside. This misery, isn't it? it just gets worse and worse and worse. And the problem is, does it look like we're going to get anything out of the game? Does it hell? Um, I just can't. It's so difficult to even try to get a positive in this. Like, it is really difficult to find a positive in this because there isn't any. There isn't any positive right now. The positive is that we don't have to worry about a game tomorrow because it'll be done kind of thing. That's the only positive for me right now is that there's no football tomorrow. I can hopefully, if DPD get their act together, I can get my um, paint sorted. I can paint me front room and do that. But... This is just a joke. The first opportunity of a chance they had there, they were just wide open on the side. What's the point? Like, there's just no passion. No one's putting anything in for the shirt apart from probably a Patterson uh, and a Byers. And I don't understand 
I do understand actually. So that's a bad wording, but I don't understand why it got to this now. Why it got to this? Why I was struggling with this? And it's they haven't even had to get out of first gear at all. And again, Gins him again, Gin Paul Valentine nearly in, and have they got a corner? And Akin's now getting annoyed with it. I don't. I don't understand it anymore because it's just getting silly. Um, it just get it just getting absolutely silly. Uh, I don't see what we can do to improve this. I'll be honest with you. I I don't see any improvement coming any time soon. Stop being Sheffield Wednesday it's fans. Just an absolute joke. Maybe is that a possibility? Hello. What? Is that possibility? Stop being Sheffield Wednesday fans. Maybe improve it. No, uh, that's not on the cards, no. unfortunately. No, sadly, that's not on the card because I I stupidly like watching my club, even if it is a massive S show. <sighs> that stupid thing. I will put myself through this week in, week out because I love my club, even though that's that sounds a mental excuse. How's everyone feeling over half time? What's been the lay of the land, Jake? Let's. Disgusting. Um, I'm not drinking a muck pop anymore. I've got a soda stream now. So I'm drinking Whoa! sparkling water. Yeah. Someone's been down south. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I unfortunately had to go down south. Um, oh, no. I probably should say, unfortunately, we've got fans everywhere. It was. Uh, I, I just, I hate traveling anywhere near London, but I, yeah, I was six and a half hours on the road yesterday. That was fun, but, uh, not fun. No, um, not it wasn't too bad all. where I stayed to be fair, but, um, it was a good, no, I say that. Well, it was a good five or a pint to be fair, which <sighs> bit of ASMR. This podcast has gone unhinged. Uh, yep. In terms of what a podcast usually is, because it is a, a cross stream. I do forget there, this is there, going there, out on audio there, feeds. I do apologize. There is a second part of the audio that I'm recording now, so don't worry. I haven't just killed it. Oh, that's good. So you'll get a long um, podcast. <laughs> yeah, just us falling into. What? Oh, like, look at that long ball. Like, oh, the, that's the, so the, easy. <sighs> Under 12s know how to defend better. I sound really disrespectful there, but it feels that way. It just feels like there's no guidance. There's no guide. The players, you can tell the players know something's not, well, they obviously they know what something's up kind of thing. Oh, I've just realised I'm probably really quiet. There we go. I'll bring that up a little bit more. Sorry. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Blame Wendy. Yeah, my brain's gone. We haven't done a podcast in two weeks, and then we come into this nope. madness. You know, you know what the nice thing is, like I said, kind of thing. I don't have to worry about football tomorrow. I can just watch Premier League games and be like, and other games yeah. and be like, okay, I'll watch that. So I don't have to wait for think, the rest of the weekend until I next think I'm Tuesday. Just go shopping. I think I'm just going to go shopping and just have a bit of a. Day That's out. a good ball. Now is anyone there for it? Nope. You played it straight to Sunderland play it. Well done. Soph gave me this small stick at half time in case I wanted to impale myself during the second half. I thought she gave you a voodoo go- doll. <laughs> no, it's it's got a shot shot a pointy end. Um her dad yeah, even messaged that. her going after seven minutes going, um how 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 bad does he currently feel? And uh, like as the second went in within seven minutes. Yeah. <sighs> I, I just got a bleatives on my end. And then going, I'm really hormonal. I feel like I might cry about a stupid game. What's going on with my camera? What do you what mean? No, I haven't yeah, seen, I didn't see anything. No, I didn't see anything either. I'm glad if, if something's going on with my camera, I'm kind of happy I didn't see it, if actually. <laughs> Oh, is the chairman at the what? match tonight? Pro- no, he's in Thailand. <sighs> yeah, he's... He, I think he left after the transfer window. Look at Generally, them I actually state. think he left after the transfer window. Fair Genuinely, play to I... Fans that are staying. 
I, I don't nah, know if I would have I don't, I've never left a game early, to be fair. That's a slight no, I, I have. But I don't, I don't tend to. I don't tend to. Um, purely because I never have to travel far for a home game, usually. So I pop into families, but... It's... Yeah, my mine is, if mine is lagging, it's just on thinking ahead for deck later. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. I think we're fine. I can hear you normally and usually. Oh, yeah, is his camera going just slower? Stream, if my camera going slow, I know why. Don't worry. I know why. If your audio is not there, we should be all right. Is my audio fine? You can hear me fine. That's fine. Long as the audio fine, that's fine. Uh, it'll speed up in a minute. Yeah. Um. It'll be good, yeah. It'll be because we're going through different sources. It's yeah. fine. Um, Apologies if I turned into Lego Man. Topics. Dig up the last document, Jake, and see what topics oh, were on it. God. And let's go through and see how relevant they are two weeks later because we did keep adding stuff to have it. Look. Have a look. Yeah, uh, let's have a look. That's my, e- that's my emails. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, don't like pull up, pull up your bank statements or anything. Oh, look, it says I'm skint. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, go on, oh. have a chance. Oh, now high and wide. What was the last doc? What was the last one we did? Was it 135? One, it, well, we were prepping for 137, weren't we? But you never yeah, change the what? you never you never change the document. No, I never change the thing because I'm rubbish at it. Uh, you know what we can do? We oh. never finished our transfer th- things of other teams. Oh, that's going to require thought. Where did we get to? Right. We got. Where did we, we get? To Plymouth. To... You got the links? Can you? Oh no, I've. Not... Uh, I'll try. Hang on. The links in the document. Uh, it's in. I think it's on Discord. I can find it for you again. Put them in the one three six document, and I will use it that way. Just because I've got that on this setup. Oh, oh. As Wednesday going out of their own box here. Oh, good save. Good Who save. Was that? that was a good effort by Patterson. Yeah, you are. You are literally twenty seconds in front of me by the looks of it. So, please like the stream. By the way. Yeah, please. That would help us in our misery. And subscribe to the channel, please. Subscribe <sighs> to both of us because it's going to be horrible. Yeah, go and subscribe to him as well. Yeah. Because uh, this is a uh, a woeful time for us all. And Jake actually does regular content, unlike me, who hasn't posted a video on this channel for two weeks. <sighs> Not going to lie, Jake. I haven't watched. For- oh, so, oh, what is. Nearly very close, wasn't it? We just get done, and it should have been an easy tapping for Sunderland. It should have been four, but they managed to fluff it up. GNX, we will be Come here on. for some weird reason, so go enjoy What's your dinner. That, uh, yeah, we'll still be here. For some strange reason, we're mentalists that like a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I just noticed on, on the stream my camera had gone laggy. As long as my audio fine, that's not too much of a problem. Yeah, it'd be all right. I think we can deal with... Look. Well, I can't control Doesn't anything it... on this. No, you can't, can you? Let's have a look. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the thingy, aren't I? Yeah, you're just looking for the link we use to get all the clubs up. If I can click that and I'll follow through. Yeah. Oh, they team. nearly got another. <laughs> as long as we keep it like below five. That's all I'm asking tonight, boys. Yeah. Because that was a really, that was curling really well. Yeah, what do you think on Vasquez? Should it, um... I think Dawson should get a chance again. Yeah. Personally. I don't think... Yeah, I, th- I, I think don't think he's done anything time. wrong. No. I just don't, I don't think, think he's done anything wrong. It, it just, it just can't get, yeah, that exactly. way. Check the uh, chat. Mate, thank you. Right. So, and I'm working on you for the game because my stream just died. Okay. (laughs) 
I'll, t- I'll tell you when they score the next three. Um, so we got to Plymouth, did we? Yes, I believe we did. Okay, so Preston North End. Oh, I've got to read it this time. Um, Preston. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this. I am blind in my old age. Brought in... Um, Ozmagic. <laughs> Frakia Jensen. What I'm now? I'm reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it, mate. It's all blurry. Uh, Holmes. Will Keane. Leighton Stewart, Liam Miller, Calvin Ramsey, Josh Seary, Kean Best. Or they, these are the ones promoted from the under 18s. But yeah, the ones I read before go, were. Go by Masaba. Got, I got Masaba? 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 Are you, are you Derek Ray? What is with your pronunciation of some of these players? <laughs> it's not even like you don't say them wrong. You just say them in a weird way. How long have we been doing a podcast, boss? No, I know, but it's when you say them correctly and you say, like, Masaba. I didn't know you were from Harry Potter. <laughs> Guardian Masaba. <laughs> it comes silly. This is what I'm when me and James don't talk for. Yeah, they brought in Will, they brought in Will, Ke- Will Keane and he's pretty good for Preston. Um, he's he was naff at all, wasn't he? He was. Corn well, for he Wednesday. All the time. High up. Let's come back. Buckley sends it in. Headed by Wednesday back post. Nope. Goal kick. QPR bring in um, Colback, Begovic. Jesus, that's a good player. Two side, that's two. Yeah, two good side. They're they're on freeze. Uh, Paul Smith, uh, Larech, and Morgan Fox was a free. What do you think to their incomings there? Uh, they also, not too bad. Also... I, I was always interested by um, QPR because they were just starting to get uh, the whole new manager situation. Going. Yeah, they got Steve. Cook, they got Steve. Cook, Steve Cook and uh, Taylor Richards on and undisclosed as well. So they're two other signings. That, so bad. yeah, they did. They did some decent business actually. Which to it's say just... how how much um, trouble they were in at parts last season. Like they've mm. actually done their business in the transfer window. You know what? After this sounds, some of the Wednesday players are actually trying to make a fist of this. We'll actually turn up in the second half. <sighs> Wrong ball there. Does anybody actually still care about the game, by the way? Interesting question uh, for our Yeah, audience. yeah. Does anyone actually care about the game or are you just listening to what we're on about? Is anyone actually still got it on? Because <laughs> we are bringing it Oh No. Defended by... Um, I've both got a yellow. Sunderland. Rotherham. No, we were still talking about QPR. What do you think to their signings? Go on, Jake. Um, they weren't bad actually. When you look at them, they're quite good at experience in that kind of thing. And again, QPR one of those teams who were, I think, ownership's a bit meant. I think the bloke who used to own them has left now, and they still got to like pay their fine to the EFL, like the paying from like that tw- twenty twelve season where they did everything. So it's been interesting. Um, I thought they weren't bad for what they were doing. It's some of them you can see are very aimful style signings in terms of defense, how you want to make them quite defensively strong in midfield and stuff. Yeah, they so, just signed Reggie Cat, Reggie Cannon as well. Mentioned it wasn't actually in that list I was reading, but um, mm-hmm. uh, David mentioned it in the chat. So yeah, they've made some they've made some good signings. Again, it's a team struggled last season and made the right signings this season. So yeah, see how it fully plays out over the course of the season. Do you want to read Rotherham's? Let me bring it up. Didn't they break their transfer record fee twice? Yeah, this... I'm sure they did. See, I can't even Believe like make jokes because like the situation we're in. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Rotherham brought in Sam Noble, one mil, one point one million. Dion Phillips, Grant Hall, Cafu, Andre Green. Remember him? That yeah. we have. Yeah. Uh, three transfers, all them. Uh, Christ. Christ tell it, I think. Uh Avon Alpha Sebastian Revan. 
Can oh, you say God. that Christ's name again, please? Christ, tell him, tell him. I can't say it. T I E H I. Yeah, where are you getting the L from? I don't know. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, this is what we're Fred... doing. You're reading oh, them all. Go. Oh, here we go. Fred Onyanima. I missed the D out completely, I think. <laughs> um, is it Onyedinma? Onyedinma? I don't know. I don't know either, mate. Dex, it's fine. Dexter Lambasket and Sam Col- uh, Colker. Lambasket! Lambasket! <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> oh, this is cheering me up. We're keeping doing this. <laughs> See, I... Uh, we could have this because we've had this for years. <laughs> Nobody else mocking. Um... <laughs> Lembicasa. I don't know where you got Lembasket <laughs> from. <laughs> right. L. Right. Re- li- listen to this. L E M B I K I S A. And Jake reads Lembasket. <laughs> How am I dyslexic brain read it? <laughs> And you know what probably the two that you turned around and said Rotherham United I remembered those two players I was like oh no <laughs> oh, oh Jake you do, you do cheer me up mate um... <laughs> yeah they'll um, do alright maybe yeah well they broke the transfer record a couple of times which is interesting um which I'm very shocked to see that they did that actually because they rarely ever spend any money. Uh, real. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, cut back. Can you get the ball so, in here? Do you want to do the Wednesday one just to just add it because it's on the list? No. I know we've already done it. You want to do Southampton? Yeah, it talks through Southampton. So Shay Charles, uh, Pierce Charles' brother, 12.5 million from uh, Man City's under 21s. Also, Someone I would have for the for next manager, and it's a shout. Right, you remember Brian Barry Murphy that used to be at Wednesday? Not really. He's now under twenty one manager at Man City. Now, would would you be willing to let the club go down like a Ipswich route, where they went and got like an old under twenty one manager? From like Man U, like they've done with Man U, and bring him in to give him a chance at first team management, or is that just a sign of disaster right now for us? I'll take, I'll take anything at this rate. <laughs> it can't get much worse. No, it actually can't get much worse. What what could get worse? Well, actually, please don't we're in that. admin. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that. what the really problem is. You know what the stupid thing with admin is. Wouldn't mean anything because they go, we'll take your points away from you. Okay, then have them. <laughs> <sighs> Southampton, they signed Shay Charles, <laughs> Ross Stewart, Joe Lumley, Ryan Manning, Joe Lumley. <laughs> signed Joanna Lumley. No, uh, Ryan Manning. Taylor Harwood Bellis, Mason Holgate on loan, Ryan Fraser on loan, Flynn Downs on loan. Um, some good signings, but obviously they lost big players like yeah. Lavia, Ward Prowse. Yeah, why couldn't you lose all these lot before you played us? Yeah, Teller went. They they, they lost the big hitters. Livermento went. They're not. So, I will say now they're not really doing that great. There's a lot of fans calling for Mar- Martin's edit. So. Uh, Southampton at minute. No, they lost. They lost some real quality. So it's one of those things that I, I think they they probably lost players that were too important. Yeah. Oh, is Bambo going to get in trouble for that? No. Bit of um. Can't run on that. Accidental foot left in. Go on, you read the uh, Stoke. So oh, cheer for that! I just seen the first name. Uh, Berger from SC Basel. For five million, yeah. Ryan Ma- Manami for four million. To be honest, that's just a lot of M's and E's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Le- 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 May yeah. for two point five million. 
June Hall Bay for two million. Yeah. Ben Pearson. Jockey. I think that's I'm how you say it. I'm trying to work out what nationality is that Ryan Mimmer because the, that's I, I don't usually see names get it spelt like that. I might, that might be my my clear. ignorance. Oh, it's Moroccan and Belgian. Um, oh, it's, right. it's, it's spelled like double M and then A and um, E, isn't it? Yeah. Jockey Vad Vadigal, uh, Ross Johnson, Ender Stevens, um, oh. Hatcher Mudum. Oh, God, that's a weird one. Uh, Morales and Gooch. And they got. We're not saying, he's not saying his name was weird. It was saying it was difficult to pronounce, Jake. Yes. Come on. Uh, <laughs> ha- oh, for God's sake, go do the Celtic one. I'm not touching that with 10 football, Paul. I'll try. Hakis Shakanovic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Travis from. Uh, Bournemouth, Luke McNally, uh, we were linked with him as well. Um, Here we were. Inko, Kai Jan Hoover, Eto B. Oh, no, no, they're the ones, ones that, yeah, they're the ones that went and back do, on And do, do, sorry, I mean, they're, they're the ones that went back on them. Yeah. Um, yeah, any standouts on there for you? Um, Sam, Sam, oh, pff, let me try it again. Uh, end of season's probably a decent one for them. Quite a lot of business. Yeah, a lot of business. And it's weird. Uh, Johnson also from Preston's a good shout as well. The the man, it's weird at Stoke because they're one of those clubs that really need to get out of this league. I think, I think they've either it's the last season with parachute payments or they're all up. Mm. And I've never really, I, ne- I never really felt like the. Stoke fans had taken to the gaffer after he left Sunderland last season after what happened with Sunderland because he left, didn't it, Neil? He left, went to Zen, and then Sunderland brought in Terry Mowbray. It does show you if you owned and ran properly, you can have the manager go and it go okay, but just repeat what I said beforehand under my breath. <laughs> it was just... We're just not in any, any situation that's gonna. I, I I just I just feel so like deflated, dejected. Not even that. Just like that. Do you remember when you will remember, obviously, but like when we started the pod and they were like yep. we were like we we were worried about being in financial trouble and stuff like that. There was never any signs that. Um. The the reason that I feel like this is so deflated is the management is awful. Yeah, the players aren't performing, and the owner looks like ready to abandon us, but also just be spiteful with some things, maybe. And mm-hmm. I think that's why it feels so much worse. Apples. Yeah, not knowing where the where the club's going to end up. It's 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 scary because you don't. Sometimes you can see that like end light at the end of a tunnel. At the minute, our tunnel's all bricked up, and it don't look like it's ever going to get unbricked. Mm. You know what I mean? And the the thing is, it it some it'll it'll happen. It's just it will happen. Do you know, when, you know, when do you know what I'm hopeful? Manager manager bounce. What I'm hopeful for is. It's like many things in Wednesday. We go. Oh, do you, do you look back at the problem? Is yeah. The reason I'm getting slightly concerned is you only get so many rolls of the dice where you can look back and go, oh, do you remember how bad that team were? Or do you remember how bad that manager were? Or do you remember how bad that time was when you're looking back and it was yeah. it's a completely different picture? The problem is, it, no matter how historic we are and you know how much we, we've, ex- we've existed, the, the way the ownership structures work in football now is if, if it collapses... Mm. You you might be in a situation where it just gets worse, and the oh, club God, really two, does we've struggle. We've got like two players down. Yeah, we brought the Sama on as well, and Delgado. So Bambos looks like he's gone down. Is that? Just... You must be thinking, what have I walked into, mate? 
They just panned the sick. It's just like, what are you watching? Like, and well, no, but he's, 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 he's also responsible for this. Oh, yeah, of course he is. Like, he's, he's fully. Players. Yeah, like, it's like, I don't care, like, how bad the situation is you've walked in. The manager should, the, the manager's clearly out. You should, know how, to, out you should know how to motivate the player to get going. Well, it's not even that. It's just like, we're, we're, we're absolutely appalling. Yeah. Just, it, it, it's, it's inexcusable for us to be this bad. <laughs> Weapon, Huddersfield, Watford, Plymouth, Rotherham, Bristol City. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to go. Are we going to go down with the lowest point total ever? At this rate. And I can't believe I've seen saying this on the 29th of September, but I'm saying, are we going to go down? But it feels that way, doesn't it? My light filter's just fallen off my light, and now my I eyes thought you just, I thought it... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Is this going to be the bit where they start playing where it's just risen? Yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed to make those jokes. Like, he's allowed to take the mick out of me saying players' names. If one day somebody will cheer and think I'm genuinely mocking your disability... Or your yeah, but it's it's kind of just been an, it was a, it was an actual inside joke before it was people taking it too far in your comments. Remember, section. When, remember when we first did something? I said Joff and Dad have no pace. That back in the early days. Oh, do you remember when that life was that simple? Yeah, when, every, when everybody was furloughed. <laughs> yeah, and you could make content till it came out your ears. Football all the time. And Wednesday were crap, but there was more football on just to. Watch everything else, and yeah, there Don't was a global, pande- there was, there was bringing on there was a global pandemic and everything. But <laughs> the thing is, the one thing that this has got to do as a whole fan base, we have to keep that we're all Wednesday, aren't we, and not turn on each other. And that I worry about a little bit, but I think everyone's going to be singing off the same hinge sheet now. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be very, very shocked to find someone who, A, support Chan Siri. I know they show some people at the start, and support this manager. Like, like I, I had a look at like some managers that we got linked, that we could get linked with. One of them was like Mark Warburton. One of them was Dean Smith. I was like, yeah, no, that's never happening. <laughs> Dean no, Smith. It'd be perfect, but no. The one who I expect who could come in, and he's worked under low budgets, if he if he can have no money, Nathan Jones. But the football under Nathan Jones isn't pretty. I wouldn't be very inspired by Nathan Jones. No. And the only reason he got decent players and they had a good recruitment system. You look at Wednesday during the summer, we lost our recruitment lot. Like, you know that Luke Dowling we brought in? He's gone now. He was only there till September. We just... Oh, both Wednesday players headed each other. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't write this. So, De- just, De- De- going there's, off. There's the players aren't that bad. No. They're, not, they're not as bad as these results are showing. I just can't believe Chisco's got no sort of like self-respect to just walk at this stage yeah it's not working mate how can you have faith in yourself when it's not working to this extent why would you keep yourself in that limelight palmer's had his hair done look weird is that the level we're getting to oh look at his hair do oh god he bring ashley fletcher on i ain't seen what ashley fletcher can do he's putting him at center back mate <laughs> Play every, play players every other place. Oh, Palmer's going up front. <laughs> ah, Palmer's hair looks fresh, doesn't it? It does. It looks like he's had it done the, just before the game. Like, what's this? So, what's the situation then? Is Gregory coming off? Yeah, Gregory. Gregory coming off, and he looks angry. By the looks of it. Yeah, he looks. I just annoyed. I can't believe we were like we were doing we were doing Wembley coverage in the summer. 
feels like a long time ago, isn't it? Four it months, just feels like it, four months. It feels like a different club. Yeah. Because it, it, we we had the we had the building blocks to build on. Yeah. And we've just thrown it in the Fletcher's just Fletcher's just come on and his head's already looks down. Yeah. Why isn't Palmer starting games? No idea. Best player last season, I'd say, in a lot of aspects. But you know what will be happening is it'll, it'll be, why are you not talking about such and such who played a game? Why are you not talking about such and such who played a game? It's like, that's his answer to stuff. If he said, if you get asked about who, why a certain player not played. I genuinely think you could play the, the starting 11 from last season and they'd do better. Yeah. I know there's a lot of the players out there, but you could just play the whole thing. I have the, I have the thing of, well, do not let Sicko, it can sound really bad when I say this, but do not let Sicko let Tyler, uh, uh, what are you called? Oh, what's he called? Uh, not in a boat, we're linked with, you know what I mean? Walker. No, we've been linked with him. Is it, uh, Uh, Lyle, Lyle, Lyle Taylor. Lyle Taylor. Um, so we've been linked with him about like him coming in as our like number 25 person on the roster, right? Yeah. Do not let Sicko do that because it gives a chance for a manager to come in and possibly let Johnson have that 25 man play. Or his own signing. Yeah. I just think we need to um he needs to go tonight. Is everybody in agreement, by the way, in the chat? Is, is it Cisco, is it Cisco's time? Is it time? Yeah. Does anybody actually think he should get more time? Is is everyone saying he should go? He's got it, right? Yeah. Because um. Ooh, I can't was... believe he's still here. Yeah, I can't either. I've, I always say give someone ten games, but like he's had ten games. Yeah. Oh God! Is it well, been that long? I think it's about it's it's either eight or nine. He's had about that. I know it's this is the eighth league game, isn't it? Or the yeah, yeah, but yeah. But even if, yeah, I think ironically, his tenth game will be Darren Moore's game with Huddersfield. And if you make if you make the change. It's got to be quick, and it's got to be someone lined up straight away. We can't be messing about going, oh, we've interviewed this person, we've interviewed that person. What was that free kick? Useless. So Byers just, like, launches the free kick across, and it's like we were trying to pass it, but nobody was there to receive the pass. That was wondrous. It just, it just, what is it? What's the word I use? Goal boy errors? Was that maybe yeah. right insane? Yeah, nobody thinks we should keep just go. I, th I think it has to happen. I think, um, I think, I think it needs to happen immediately after the game. There yeah. needs to be a corner flag. Like I'm sick of waiting for it and it not happening. <laughs> no it should have been some. It should have been something that that should have been the club statement this morning. It yeah. should have been something that's been decided. Um, I decided and... that if this isn't working, if been reduced, if we will look for a new manager, or i.e., we've got a new manager lined up. <laughs> I think he got these next three games. Buke says it's just so bad, but who would replace him? Literally anybody that's available. I, t I would take Warnock at this stage. I don't know if I could say this, but like I'd take Steve Bruce. Oh. If I was looking at it realistically, at the best chance for my football club, yeah. even though I've got a very much of a disdain still, like... There's there's not many people who could do worse. Nathan Jones wouldn't fill me with confidence, but he's probably better than this. If Mecca defensively are to beat, probably one nil wins, but if Mecca defensively strong. Thank you, Mark, for the one pound for this. I yes. much appreciate that. Thank dude. you very much, mate. We appreciate it. That helps it. a lot. Makes um, us like makes I'll be on it. I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised we're still doing this. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? We didn't do the podcast and people were like, 
have they just given up with how crap we are? Yeah, it, it was weird because people were like, is, is, is the podcast dead now? It's like, no, it's not dead. We just had things going on. And it's just like, we will still do a podcast even if we are useless. I haven't wa- I, I'll be honest, like, even when we haven't done it, we weren't doing it for legitimate reasons. Like, well, my laptop basically just decided to go mm. bang the other day. With, I've sorted it now. Um, what, it won't like put it, it won't put it, I got a phone call. It went, it went bang. I went, what went bang? Laptop. gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly good free kick just missed. Um, but like, yeah, I, 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 it's not like I, in this time I've actually wanted to do a podcast. I've not wanted to talk about Wednesday at all. I, I put that thing on Twitter and I wasn't just be, trying to be humorous. We do a podcast talk, called Talking Wednesday, yeah. but I couldn't think of anything less I want to do right now than Talk Wednesday. I, For me, right now, it's been nice to talk to my mate about this. This because... is the thing. We've not done it in a while, so it's no. been quite nice to get on and rant and chat to everybody and have the, the chat here. I do enjoy, enjoy this. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that my channel is very dedicated to Wednesday and I love doing Wednesday content because I'm mental, I could be quite easily stopped, but I still do it I enjoy it. Mm. In that, the, the making the video, talking about getting people things about, about people's things. But the problem is, this is the problem when you do, like, football channels or football chat. If your team's not going great, it's hard to motivate yourself to do it. When your yeah. team's doing great, it you can do it day day in day it day the day in day out. But yeah. when it's like this, it's so hard. Like I I got something tomorrow. I've got a debrief to do on my one, and I God knows how toxic that's gonna be. Um, I honestly look at them sometimes, and I know you're committed to them, but I'm like, why do you do it to yourself? If you notice, I may and I sometimes make sure I do one when it's not straight after game. The only time I've actually done one recently where it's been straight after game with the Swansea one, and I had an m- absolute mega rant. And um, I had people go and send me messages, go, are you okay? I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> they were meant to be a good year. I was meant to be happy. Uh, oh, don't oh, give away another penalty. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he did. Oh, he didn't. <sighs> oh. Like, I like doing the debrief because they're good to get like other the fans' opinions and stuff and just talk about it. Wait, it's not me just whinging all the time. I don't blame you for whinging at the minute, mate. Like <laughs> we the, the oh Big yeah. Sam said something on a podcast about us earlier and I can't remember. I was gonna bring it for a topic. What did he say? He said something about Darren Moore. Hang on. Okay, so you can find it. You start talking. The thing, the thing is, like, the only way I'm probably going to have a happy so far of this season with Wednesday is when I make my own on bloody beat on EA Football Club. Mm-hmm. Legitimately, that'll be the only way I'll get to make it decent. And if anyone bought that, let me know how you how you doing and what you think so far. Because I I don't mind it. I, I've enjoyed it so far. It's split in between that and Starfield for me. Uh, how are you, Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds is, a, is a, sadly he can't do two clubs in the FL. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so something about I Mark, think he probably thank got you this for the wrong. two pounds of well, Mark. Oh yeah, so Mark super chat two pound has Ryan Reynolds got a few spare millions. Yeah, we should have bought us, shouldn't he? Um, we we'll have our documentary. Line, It'd be nice, um, but the yeah, can you imagine as well? That all their all their podcasts and stuff got the, in the bloody documentary, mate. We'd be on Disney Plus. Um, <laughs> that would do all right. But the uh, well, the we was, would. Uh, I don't know about Jack. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Love you, Jack. no, he's going to become one of the Disney Channel kids. <laughs> <laughs> so big Sam, mate, he said. He said when we lost three. I think he meant the four nil. Apparently, yeah. it's Big Sam was saying he heard a rumor that more chance he told more he's not going to be here next season. Yeah, and then it's almost as like he had to stick to it, sort of thing. So there was mm. principle there as well. Yeah, I saw. I saw that. It's like I, I hope, and I really hope that. If Chancery said in that day he loved the club, is that he's asking 
who want to come in and go and done. My fear is, is that he's just going to sit there and wait for someone come to, to buy it off him. Mm. <laughs> Jack's clearly out getting drunk somewhere because he oh, would yeah, not yeah. stand for this level of bullying no. from Lee today. He, he, he's definitely out getting drunk somewhere. I think. I, I think. Blame him. I think for for me right now, it's just like, at what point do you look at the season and you say, where can we save it? Because it can be saved in November. In like the October break, it can be saved. What's up? I just heard a really strange noise. What? I just heard a really strange noise. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you look like somebody creeped into your room. I really don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> what did that like? <laughs> like some sort of creature shitting itself. <laughs> what? And then like... Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> Seven minutes at a time. Go on! Oh, unlucky. We're actually trying to make a goal. Is it still there? Oh, no, I've just thought of something. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Right. I forget. That their bathroom is next door there. Oh. And I just said that quite loud <laughs> on the street. You might know what it is. I think they might have had a curry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, could they break with your neighbour tomorrow? That's really quite awkward, actually. I might just not talk for a while, Jake, if you could talk, please. Yeah, yeah, I will do. But... <laughs> if you look at what's going on at the minute, it's like I don't uh, know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know <laughs> what they're doing. They're yeah. passing it around. They're trying to play football. I'll give them that. They're trying to play football, but I'm trying to stay interested. <laughs> if I'm on it, I. You know what? Let's let's. Let's call it what it is. If you go, if you get rid of someone, if you get rid of him, and somebody comes in in the October international break, the season can be saved, right? I just mm -hmm. don't think he's going to do it. And if he does do it, Christ, he needs what? Oh, good save, great chance. If he does it, he needs to make sure. He got someone lined up, ready to go with a coaching staff straight away. I don't want this statement going, I'm going to look at who's the best option to come in. No, I want it to go sick, go sacked. And by the way, a two hours later, here's your replacement. Done. Mm. That's what I want. I won't lie. That's what I want now. Because it's a great head of that. Keeper doesn't actually even know it coming at him. Like I'll give I'll give the lad credit. They've shown a little bit more in this uh, second half. They've made some chances, but is that because Sunderland know they've got it won, or is that because he's actually stacked up? Kind of thing. I uh, I'm still I not hate. I'm mortified. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm mortified because I'm like, <laughs> I thought it was like. Out of the window, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the problem... <laughs> I've lost it, mate. I've lost it. I know you have. It's a little bit of both, Jake. Yeah, yeah. The, prob the problem is, right now... You know, also notice how we can't play football for... Um... <laughs> Just leave it there. Leave it there. You can't play football. Yeah. Just can't. 
But yeah. it, you notice how we can't play football for more than two halves again. We've gone mm. back to this not being able to do 90 minutes of football. Yeah. Again. I thought we got rid of this. Like, their keeper pulled off some really good safety fair just to keep it at 3-0 for them. Um, I think... Patterson, probably the only one for me that comes out of this with any graters. I'll be honest with you. He's looked decent and Palmer when he come, but... Should I... we wrap it up as it's coming into the last minutes, mate? Because I'm dead. Yeah, let's like, kill it. Let's like, kill it. I'll try to polish it. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I think what we need to see, Sheffield Wednesday needs to sack the manager. The owner needs to come out and apologise for the statement, what that was. He also needs to probably look to sell now because he's dug himself a hole. Yeah. I don't see much coming back from it. Um... I will say this is this is not Chancery two fans um, abusing you. By the way, this is not us giving you grief. This is actually you've kind of made a blanket statement about what you were trying to say was a subsection of fans, but then you've threatened the whole fan base. Yeah. So, um, and I'll say categorically on this podcast and on my own channel, I have, we had never attacked you. We never we giving always giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yep, exactly. We think that's fair. But um, when you attack us as a whole, it doesn't look good on you and doesn't make us want to give you any more money. I've been going to this. We've been going like I've been going to see Sheffield Wednesday since I was small. And no, you are actually right. I am a personal believer that that doesn't make me any more of a fan than somebody who picks it up later. It makes me a lot of fan for longer. But that doesn't necessarily mean it mean that but it also doesn't make it any it also gives me more of a reason to go you can't speak to a wider fan base and threaten their club like that because actually yeah. for a lot of people it isn't a 10-year thing it is a lifelong thing that you are tied to now and you can't yeah. you can't wait you can't swing stuff around like that Sheffield Wednesday you've got about two more minutes let's uh sign off before there ends up being another goal, yep. shall we? If there's seven added minutes. But yes, that's been it for the episode 137 yep. of the Talking Wednesday podcast. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hopefully Going, we'll be back uh, to a normal, regular schedule. Uh, yeah, they, they will not be a... Well, there might be a podcast on Monday. I might get you and Jack in. We'll change it up a bit and then start again yeah. fresh. We'll see what we'll do. Um, but yeah. Make sure you like the stream. Yep. Stick around. Follow us on all the socials, and we will see you in the next episode of Talking Wednesday. See ya.